change? Uh, climate change is when the climate change is like becoming colder and warmer. Like because the climate gets warmer, like icebergs start to melt because of greenhouse gases. I like no because it's about pollution. Yeah. The use of fossil fuels. Same. <laughs> <laughs> Things like uh, greenhouse gases and pollution. What is climate change? Um, well, climate change, I think, is a term for like the weather changes and activities and changes in the climate over time. That's why it's called climate change. Just kind of like the patterns over time and how the climate is currently changing. Climate change is actually a change in global or regional climate patterns, in particular, a change apparent from the mid to late 20th century onward and attributed largely to the increased levels of atmospheric carbon dioxide produced by the use of fossil fuels. Climate change is connected to the greenhouse effect, which is how the Earth's atmosphere traps the sun's energy and the energy radiating back from the surface is absorbed by the greenhouse gases, causing the Earth to get hotter. The main gases contributing to this greenhouse effect are methane, carbon dioxide, water vapor, and nitrous oxide. And things such as the burning of fossil fuels like coal, oil, and gas for electricity, heat, and transportation are the primary source of human-generated emissions. And some effects of climate change include extreme weather, polluted air, rising sea levels, and warmer and acidic oceans. Okay, what are fossil fuels? Fossil fuels are a source of energy, but it's bad for the environment. What are fossil fuels? Uh, I know that fossil fuels, uh, like you dig up something and then you burn them and you get like fuel. Yeah, it's, uh, it's like natural gas from like dead organisms. Yeah, if you like, you like dig up stuff and like use coal to like make gas and like electricity. So fossil fuels are anything formed from the fossilized buried remains of plants and animals that lived millions of years ago such as coal, crude oil, and natural gases, and because of their origins, they have a high carbon content. Um, how do factories affect the environment? Factories produce um, greenhouse gases that are released into the air and, and affect the carbon dioxide levels. Okay, how do factories affect the environment? Um, they... Uh, put out like bad gases and stuff that like negatively affect like the ozone and environment yeah a lot of pollution like when you see like the smoke like uh, that gray smoke that's really bad for the environment true yeah pollution industries release a large amount of carbon monoxide hydrocarbons organic compounds and chemicals into the air therefore negatively affecting the quality of air Industries produce pollutants that are extremely harmful to people and the environment. Many industrial facilities use fresh water to carry away waste from the plant and into rivers, lakes, and oceans. Heavy metals and chemicals from things like mine works can act as a source of land pollution because some deposits take thousands of years to diffuse naturally to safe levels. And two big things we as a community can do to stop land pollution is recycle and never litter. What are things that you've heard that people are doing to help climate change or things that you do at home? Um, well, one thing is that I know that there have been a lot of climate strikes in Chicago recently that me and my friends have participated in um, to show leaders that it's an issue we care about. Um, people are starting to be more eco-friendly. Yeah, like we're starting to like ride bikes and like no more like driving. Uh, there's like a lot of awareness has been spread, like a bunch of parades and protests and stuff. Despite all the tough events our planet is going through, we're still making promising steps toward a healthy Earth. In 2015, the United Nations signed the Paris Agreement, which said that countries would attempt to reduce the amount of greenhouse gases produced annually. Another great thing is that in the past four decades, China has planted over 66 billion trees. That's almost 3 trillion pounds of CO2 that trees absorb. In 2019, we held one of the largest youth climate strikes in history. Youth all over the world striked for demanding change in action. And in 2030, the amount of emissions produced is expected to go down 40%. Uh, what are things that you do at home to help climate change? Um, I know that my family likes to recycle plastic or like paper. Oh. Yeah. My family and I use reusable plastic bags. Um, I've been vegetarian for three years. You can raise awareness by going to protests and marches for climate change. 
In order to help climate change, you can ride your bike or walk instead of driving. Electric cars are also a great choice to discuss with your family. Plant your own garden, have a meat-free day once a week, or make conscious fashion choices by getting second-hand clothing or purchasing sustainable clothing. Another big thing is educating your friends and family about the crisis. Help everyone to understand what's happening and help them make Earth-friendly choices.